Hi, I'm Jack. Uh, welcome back to The Red Path and welcome to episode two of Whack Weekly. Please, for the love of God, give me another name for this series. Get me out of here. Okay, and we'll just dive straight into World Eaters representation in the last week. Um, so this last weekend, starting Saturday the 19th of November, um, we saw seven lists at RTTs with three two ones, one 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 one, which I'm sure Dara will love, uh, one one and two, and then two zero oh, and three heroes. Um, as well as that, there were four lists at GTs, um, including one three and two, which was a very interesting list, which we'll get to later. 1, 2 and 3, 1, 2 and 4 and uh, 1 and 5, both of those at the same 6 round event up in, uh, I don't know where Hellstorm is, Hellstorm. Um, so that means there were 43 games in just one weekend, which comparing to last time, uh, there were 68 games across two, so a big upsurge this weekend it seems. Um, of those, unfortunately, there were just 16 wins, which means that we had a 37.2% win rate, which is slightly lower than last uh, the last segment, I guess. Um, but still, nonetheless, fine. <laughs> um, so in terms of Team Red Path news, uh, it is fairly quiet from what I can see. Um, so as far as I can tell, there's nothing to report. Uh, if this is wrong, please get in contact. BCB, I can't search names, so unless you play World Eaters, I'm not going to see you. So let me know in the Discord, DMs, there's a channel for us. Let me know if you're playing an event with a different faction, and I will include you in the updates. Um, that said, I've got a GT coming up this weekend um, that I don't expect to do well in. Um, I'm running a uh, an interesting list because I've seen the terrain. Um, if anyone wants to see what my list is, um, I'm sure we can do a short video on it. Um, Essentially, that includes two Lamb Raiders and a Lord of Skulls with a Disco Lord and a Warpsmith and not much else. I'll keep you updated. Um, so then, moving straight on to other World Eaters. Um, so I wanted to start, first of all, with a friend of the channel, uh, Victor Schulberg. Apologies for that pronunciation. Um, who went 2-3 and three at the Viking Invasion Games um, event in Sweden. Um, really nice bloke, met him at LGT this year um, and some of the longer time Discord members will remember him as the mad lad who did really well with mutilators, <laughs> a lot of mutilators, um, towards the end of our last book. Um, he His two wins were against Ultramarines and Blackheart Drakari um, and then he went down to Chaos Knights, Chaos Demons and Gorgon Tyranids. Um, it was a really, really cool list. Uh, there were two Apostles, uh, one had Illusory Supplication, one had Soul Terror Portent, um, and then there were, <laughs> it. I mean, I'll, I'll scroll down here, you, you, hopefully it's on the screen. Um, this was hilarious, uh, three Hellroot with Plasma, um, really cool piece of tech, clearly did alright with them. And then Dara will love the fact that there were three max squads of Raptors, including one with Black Rune. Um, and then the Oblit in there for, uh, you know, hopefully behind enemy lines tech and not for actually killing stuff. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so really cool list, two and three. So clearly, clearly did quite well. And obviously Victor is a long time World Eats player, so knows, knows how to play them. Um, yeah, so we'll move on to the... Other, there were there were four other strong performances as I mentioned at the start. There were three two and ones at RTTs and a three and two at, at, at GT. Um, first up, uh, <laughs> brace yourselves, especially Krieg. Um, it is listed as Iron Warriors, which is interesting. That is, I think, a typo or a mistake. Um, this is Ben Sanson's list. Um, who is currently the top-ranked World Eater player globally, who went 2-1 at a 13-player RTT in South Carolina, um, finishing 6th. Um, he 
the the run as well as the list we'll do the run first but the run and the list were are both hilarious so the run that he had he beat word bearers and he beat corn demons um and then he lost corn demons so there's a lot there was clearly a lot of variety at this 30 player rtt that included two corn demons players a word bearers player and a world eaters player um so <laughs> the list is pretty wild um obviously abaddon um, with his Warlord traits, an Exalted Champion, which, again, I would say lesser seen. It doesn't feel that efficient for 105 points now with the, the Mark Tax. Um, four squads, five Berserkers, classic. No Icons, which is interesting. Um, I guess maybe he wasn't expecting to run into much Armour Contempt. Don't know. He's a better player than me, so who am I to question? The the classic Terminator Bomb, Red Butchers, Black Rune, um, Five Chaos Spawn, two, two, one, and then the important bit, which uh, there were rumors that it was going to happen, and he it happened. Credit to him for following through. Uh, a Mastodon, which, yeah, the Don. Um, I think everything in that list can fit inside it except the spawn, which is funny, like hilariously so. Um, so, I mean, props for bringing it, and then props for going 2 and one with it. And I'm unsurprised just because Ben is a really good player. Um, he did very well at one of the big um, frontline gaming events um, early last year. I can't remember which one, I'm afraid. Um, but, yes. It might be been earlier this year. This year has been a long year. Um, yeah. So then, uh, next up on the RTT front, um, Isaiah Roberts also went 2-1, this time at an 8-player RTT in Missouri, um, finishing third, podiuming. Um, he beat Imperial Knights and White Scars, uh, and lost to Iron Hands, which I would imagine is a drop pod, grab, melter, good stuff um, thing. Uh, his list, a uh, bit different, Cypher. Um, hopefully behind enemy lines, CP, CP shenanigans as well, uh, Demon Prince with Disciple of Corn and Zal, which is probably the killiest combo we can put on a Demon Prince at the moment, I believe it's been mapped out into most targets. Um, Apostle with Illusory, standard, um, two squads of Cultists, fairly standard, two squads of Berserkers, fairly standard, Butcher, uh, not Butcher Bomb, just a Terminator Bomb with Black Rune. That's less standard, um interesting uh i i guess they are more of an anvil unit and if they're an anvil unit they can afford to be a bit slower and don't need to be as killy and to be honest terminate is backed up by by that demon prince probably going to kill a lot of things um three squads five possessed uh interesting choice on the icons i don't think they do anything that for for possessed they just um it's the combat attrition thing. It's the undivided icon that they get rather than the uh, AP because they don't have the mark keyword. So, I don't know. Uh, two Rhinos, fairly standard, and then Abaddon. So, the Terminator is their killing pack. Their, their role is to survive and character protect Abaddon, would be my guess. Um, Cypher's cool. Glad to see him popping up in a few, few other lists. Um, I had a good time with him at Coventry, even if, in fact, no, he did the, he was one of the better performers in my list. Um, but yeah, he's, he's just, he's funny to you. Um, okay. And then the third RTT, finally, uh, Gerald Springer went two and one at a nine player RTT in Texas, finishing fourth. Um, he beat Imperial Guard, had a bye in the first round and then lost to Alpha Legion. Um, <clears throat> so this list, uh, the Chaos Lord, just on foot by the looks of it, with Gorefather and Flames of Spite. That's, he's a bit of a mortal wound machine by the looks of it. Um, Exalted Champion again. Again, you don't tend to see them that much just because they're just because the Mark Tax and they're locked in. Um, uh, the locked in uh, War Gear options. Uh, Violent Urgency, obviously a nice piece of tech. I've been playing around with it myself recently. Um, we'll. Yeah, we'll have to see if we keep that into the new book. Um, 
some big squads of berserkers, three squads of eight, they will kill a lot of things. Uh, a big blob of legionaries with Mark of Corn out in the wild again. And bolters rather than chainsaws. That is interesting. I can only assume backline block of troops to hold objectives um, would be my guess. Uh, Terminator bomb again, not butchers, but black rune and flamers. I guess uh, to, to protect against charges. Um, no uh, illusory supplication either. So. They're a bit easier to shift, but Black Rune is, is quite a big multiplier, and there are 10 of them. Um, and they'll put out a lot of firepower. Um, and then the second Terminator Brick, which is which is nice. Or not so much Brick, but another squad. Um, just give some options on Deep Striking. Um, and then one of my favourite parts, and Dara was talking about this not the other day, about how he really wants Predators to be good. And here are two Predators in a list that did all right at RTT. Um, so two Preds with four Las Cannons and two Rhinos. I think, for me, I would possibly drop the Sponsor and Las Cannons because I think at 130 points with the, the two shots at D6 plus two damage, probably more efficient than paying 40 points for an extra two Las Cannons that are, are like base Las Cannons that do just D6 damage. Um, anyone who's been following my competitive journey um, will know that I have gone off D6 damage weapons in a big way since Vindicators have started betraying me with their Demolish Cannons. Um, to be clear, I still think Vindicators are probably better than Predator Anni Annihilators, um, just because the extra strength and the extra fifth of AP are really nice into a lot of things, and obviously they get D3 plus 3 shots, which is 4 shots versus 2 from the Soul Shatter Last Cannons. Um, and they also have a 2-up save if you pay for the shield, which you always should, in my opinion. Because um, 2-up with Armour of Contempt is really nice. Um, and then, yeah, Rhinos. I assumed there's only two, so two squads of Berserkers are getting those, I would imagine. And then the Lord in one and the Exodus Champion in one. Although there is space for both of them to go in one if you really want to concentrate force, but also make the Rhino a massive target. Um, so, yeah, an interesting list. Um, I'd say fairly... Fairly bread and butter in terms of um, like units from the Codex. Uh, yeah, the Predator Annihilators are interesting. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then not last but not least um, is a list from the Twisted Dice GT, which I wasn't able to go to, which is really sad because um, I know some of the guys up at Twisted Dice. Um, they, yes, so... Uh, I also know the guy piloting this list, Jazz Rogers, um, from Priority Orders Received down in Brighton. Um, I've been to quite a few of their tournaments, um, both Priority Orders Received and um, Dice Saloon. Recommend them both, run by really lovely people. Um, everyone I've met there has been really friendly. And Jazz Rogers went 3 and 2 at the Twisted GT um, up in Leighton Buzzard uh, in the UK. Um, Finished 17th out of 33 with a really fun list. And I mean, I've clicked onto it already so you can see he was running Khan. This is twice in two weeks we've had featured lists with Khan in. Maybe he's not that bad after all. He is, in my opinion, still pretty bad. Or you have to use him really well and I'm not sure I have the brain size for that. Um, <laughs> So then, uh, the Disco Lord with Violent Urgency, Balefailer, Gorget, so pretty hard to kill, and Violent Urgency is a nice nice little buff, especially with his massive base size. I would imagine that aura goes pretty far um, and makes him himself a little bit faster and a little bit uh, better to get into combat with. Because um, they are really killy, and I will be trying one uh, at my GT, actually. In my, it's in my GT list. Um... So, and the Technovirus Injector for vehicles is the plus one damage for vehicles. Uh, so, a squad of cultists, uh, fine. Cultists, two squads of eight berserkers, standard. Um, a little squad of terminators uh, with a two melters and a flamer, not butchers, not ruined. Decimator with two decimated claws of tail flamers. It's something we've talked about in the Discord a bit. I believe hell flamers damage two, and they still benefit from the plus two from Let the Galaxy Burn. Um, 
which is something that someone threw out there a while ago, and it was kind of like, ah, what a funny meme. Clearly, it's not that bad either, because he went three and two with it. Uh, there's Rune. So, uh, Possessed Bomb. Obviously, Rune is really strong on toughness five models. Uh, it means you need to get to strength, what, 11, uh, 10 to win them on threes, um, which makes them quite a lot hard, tougher to shift, not to mention you don't have to invest the two CP on Butchers, uh, which means that in the Nephilim economy, it leaves you more CP to spend on Smash characters, like the Disco Lord. Um, so then two Rhinos, fair enough. Um, that is for the two squads of Berserkers, yeah. Uh, and then, cool, some demons, making demons work, because, and not a bloodthirst either. Karanak, two squads of blood letters, and flesh hound. So this, this is the kind of demons attachment that I would like to try very much, because psychic defense, and also flesh hounds get the cool plus one damage on the charge rule, I think which is also cool and something that I want to try. But yeah, so that looks like a really solid list with some really solid um, psychic defense, obviously with the denies from Karanak and Fleshhounds and the Rune, um, and then the Scorn strats built in. Um, I know that, I don't know actually at Twisted Dice how they rule it, but I know that down to priority orders of they rule it that you can use the CSM strat and the World Eater specific strat because they have different keywords. Um, so, uh, the wins for Jazz were against Custodes, um, and Imperial Knights, and then also Red Corsairs and Flamers, um, as in Demon Flamers, um, which looked like a hilarious list to play against. Um, and then the losses came against Imperial Knights and Cadians. I will say about the Cadian list, I played that list at London and it was a really close game. It piloted by Alex Chancellor from uh, from Twisted Dice. Um, he's a really lovely book and a really strong player. We've played um, three times now, I think, and every game has been incredibly close, coming down to the last kind of turn. Um, so I am utterly unsurprised that he managed to. I've also obviously given him a lot of experience playing World Eaters, so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so that that's kind of all the lists that we've that that there have been um, just this weekend just gone. Um, I am I am looking to make this more of a weekly thing than a fortnightly thing, as I first thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, uh, in terms of wrap ups, uh, obviously the exalted champions have started to appear um, a bit more, which is weird to me because 105 points for reroll ones to wound is pretty limited and 105 points is quite expensive for that and they only get a power axe and a combi melter which feels weird as well um i can see i i mean i can see, outside of walk talents which i don't really rate anymore it is one of our only sources of rerolls to wound now um previously obviously we could put lightning claws on terminators and stuff like that spread it out a bit more but now it is one of our only sources of reroll ones to wound, and I'd imagine it's a bit of a multiplier on things like Terminators, things like uh, Berserkers, especially because Berserkers like wounding on threes a lot of the time anyway. Um, yeah, good to see uh, Khan in another list that's done well as well. Um, I'm working on a conversion for him because I don't like the base pose model, but I'm getting sidetracked. Even on my own, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, yeah, so I guess keep keep listing as World Eaters. Team Red Path members, if you're playing as other factions, please let me know because I can't search names on BCP. I can only search factions. Um, and we would really like to include you in these videos. Um, anyone else watching the video who's not in the Discord, um, please join the Discord. We like to discuss wacky lists. Um, we like to bounce ideas off each other and it's just a really solid community while a lot of the rest of the internet was going to melt down over the weekend over the world eaters um reveals and leaks i guess that have come since and before um i think we did a fairly good job of remaining calm and level-headed to a certain extent um obviously for the youtube algorithm like comment subscribe all of that 
click for notifications. I don't know, very new at this. Um, yeah, just watch our videos, even if they hate watching. Um, stay healthy, stay safe, and kill Mainburn.